Good morning and welcome to The Art of Composition. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. I thought I would do a video for beginners that are interested in learning more about the 14 line grid. And usually the artist that draws and paints will want to use this grid as opposed to photographers. However, photographers can use this if they crop their images or if they're using design grids on their camera. But for today, I'm just going to stick with the artist that draws and paints. And I'm just going to give a few recommendations. In the book Classical Painting Atelier by Juliet Aristides, she recommends beginners start by just dropping a few lines. And what she means by that is if you have an idea for a composition, start with a dominant horizontal line, a dominant vertical line, and a dominant diagonal line. And you can use the 14 line grid to place those dominant lines. And let me show you what I mean. Let's start with the horizontal line. So anywhere you have two or more diagonal lines that intersect, you can drop a vertical or horizontal line. For example, if I was working on a composition here, and this was my canvas, and I knew what my dominant horizontal line was, I could drop it right here, where these group of diagonal lines intersect. So I could say that right here would be my dominant horizontal line. Okay, and then I have a dominant vertical. I could drop one here where this group of diagonal lines intersect. So that could be my dominant vertical. And then I could choose this diagonal line here as a dominant line. And that could be the start of a good composition. And like all things, start simple. But as you get more experienced, you can learn to branch off these lines. And I've done 60 or so videos showing artists that do that. So my recommendation is make a donation to my website. It's only 10 bucks, and then you can watch all the videos. But let me just show you how you can vary this. So if I want to move my vertical line, my dominant vertical line, I can bring it here. Or I could bring it here. Like I said, wherever you have two diagonal lines or more that intersect, I can drop a line. And the same thing applies to the horizontal line. I could bring my horizontal line all the way up here. For example, if it was a seascape, it might be higher up. And then I could drop a dominant diagonal line here. This grid will create an infinite amount of variety. You can play with this a lot. And let's say I want my horizontal line here or even here. It can be that high up. It doesn't matter. It just depends on what you want to do. And then, of course, I can move my vertical here or here, here, even here, 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 and here, and even here. So you can play around with this as much as you want. But like I said, if you're just starting out, start with three lines. And like I said, Juliet Aristides talks about that in the book Classical Painting Atelier. If you haven't gotten that, I recommend it. And that's going to be it for today. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it as always.